how's it going everybody and welcome back to lead therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning in to my video and also i hope everybody has a fantastic and safe fourth of july weekend president joe biden got nailed by the washington post fact checker over a dubious statement he made about the second amendment right to bear arms the president made a claim last week in a speech advocating for more gun control in the u.s biden was calling for an increase in background checks to prevent guns from getting in the hands of violent criminals when he made an odd digression about the constitution and instead of me actually reading it out to you i'll play the clip for you now i might add the second amendment from the day it was passed limited the type of people who could own a gun and what type of weapon you could own you couldn't buy a cannon those who say the blood of the the blood of patriots, you know, and all the stuff about how we're going to have to move against the government. Well, the tree of liberty is not water with the blood of patriots. What's happened is that there have never been, if you wanted to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. The point is that there's always been the ability to limit, rationally limit the type of weapon that can be owned and who can own it. Oh, Joe, you poor misguided soul. Let me remind you what the Second Amendment says and give you the definition of infringed. The Second Amendment states, a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. And for those who don't know what the word infringed means, here is the definition from Merriam-Webster. To encroach upon in any way that violates law or rights of another. And of course, the fact checkers disagreed with the statement that Joe Biden made. Everything in that statement is wrong, said David Koppel, the research director and Second Amendment project director at the Independence Institute. Koppel added that originally when the Second Amendment was ratified in 1791, there were no federal laws about the type of gun you could own, and no states limited the kind of gun you could own, contrary to Biden's claims. Washington Post fact checker Glenn Kessler added that Biden discredited his own efforts for gun control by citing false historical facts. Some readers might think this is a relatively inconsequential flub, but we disagree, wrote Kessler. Every U.S. president has a responsibility to get American history correct, especially when he's using a supposed history lesson in service of a political objective. The president's push for more gun restrictions is an important part of his political platform, so he undercuts his cause when he cites faux facts. Kessler also pointed out that Biden had made the false claim before without any correction. And as I showed in the clip earlier in the video, Biden was ridiculed and criticized for other comments in the same speech where he warned the supporters of the Second Amendment that the government had F-15 fighter planes and nuclear weapons to tamp down any armed anti-government uprising. We all know that Joe Biden and his administration are having a hard time passing any gun control laws. So now they're coming down harder on the FFLs, but also they're spreading misinformation and lies about the Second Amendment. And of course his followers and people who know nothing about guns believe the crap that is spewing out of his mouth. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed the video or if I give you some information you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you in the next video.